All right, guys, Jillian Kaplan here, and today I'm going to talk to you about fear, and specifically the fear of getting and being uncomfortable, right? A lot of us have worked hourly salary jobs for someone else where we're told what to do every day. And we do it. And even if like, you know, you're not micromanaged and you're a little bit self-sufficient, you know your goal, you know your role, you stick to it. Um, usually don't deviate a whole lot because you really want to do a good job of what you were told to do. And working for yourself is totally different. You have no one telling you what to do. You have um, no one telling you what not to do. And you're not going to get fired for making a mistake. And so in order to be successful as an entrepreneur, you really have to get uncomfortable. So sometimes it means sending a message to someone that you don't want to have to send a message to, but you think that they would be a great member on your team or um, be a great candidate for your product because XYZ. So honestly, you should just tell them why you're messaging them. If you are a good at home business marketer, you are not spamming people. You are speaking to people like humans and you are looking at who you want on your team and who you want to help with your products. This is the only profession where you get to pick your coworkers and pick the people that you work for, right? Pick the people that you're gonna support. So tell them why, be honest. And a lot of people that makes them super uncomfortable. Like I, I think this person would be a great member of my team because they're super positive and they love being on social media and they're really into fitness. Um, and I just think they'd be great. And I know you're thinking that, but then you're not telling the person because it's uncomfortable because they might say no. We do this fun challenge on my team called go for no. And the person with the most no's wins. You cannot control who says no to you, but you can control how many people you speak to, right? That's powerful. And why would you work so hard in your hourly role, in your salary role for someone else, for someone else's dreams, and not be willing to work hard in your own role with your own dreams? I work a full-time job at a Fortune 10 company. I love what I do. I work hard at work. I do. But I work hard for myself, too. I work just as hard for myself, if not harder, then I work for someone else. Why would you work harder for someone else than you would for yourself, right? Why would you not risk getting a little bit uncomfortable to come up with a plan B or be able to pay for your child's education or daycare or your car payment or your mortgage or whatever it is that your financial goal is? Is that not worth being a little bit uncomfortable in order to achieve that, right? Just a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not talking about doing anything super crazy, but in order to get results you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done. We say that in fitness, we say that in health, and I say it in business all the time. So if you're really scared, grab a glass of wine, go on your patio, and start sending messages. I know that you have this list of people that you've been wanting to speak to, but you're just nervous to do it. That's okay. It is not abnormal to be nervous. It is totally normal, actually. But it's so important to kind of get beyond that because the only way that you're gonna move forward is to get a little bit out of that comfort zone. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, drop a like, direct, drop a comment below, and you can check out more of my videos at JillianKaplan.com. Have a great day.